Hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine today we will do a revision worksheet on play with patterns today i will supply you questions of this chapter and you have to solve the sums alone i will just make you clear the questions and you will solve it alone and don't take your parents help okay see the first one fill in the blanks here you have to fill the blanks by understanding the pattern the first one and the second one is very easy for you the third one also 100 z 200 y 300 x so what will be the next next one 12 24 36 what will be the next next one that is e number is little bit difficult for you you will just think and you will do 8 then 17 then 35 there is a pattern but it is little bit different so think of your own and just try to solve it in this way you will do the fill in the blanks next is make a number box using letters x y z using these three letters x y and z you have to fill this number blocks and the rule is no letter comes twice in any line no letter will come twice in any line you pause the video and take a screenshot of this questions okay next we will do sum number 3 Sum number three is using use numbers one to six. That means you have to use numbers from one to six. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. This numbers you have to use, and you have to make magic triangle. This is your magic triangle. You have to fill these magic triangles using number one to six. And the rule is numbers on each side must. add up to 10 that means if side suppose this side or this side or this side it all each side whether this this or this each side will add up to 10 okay and use the numbers from 1 to 6 next is complete the number towers as i have told you before also this type of number towers are very important for your exam also complete the number towers here the towers are given to you you have to complete it the first is given 1 2 3 4 5 okay here just i'm giving one more thing here it will be 3 okay so just you now understand what will be the next okay now you will complete the number tower okay just pause the video and take the screenshot of sum number 3 and 4 okay i hope you have taken the screenshot next is sum number 5 and 6 this is based on coding and decoding okay so in the first one in the fifth one if a equals to 1 b equals to 2 c equals to 3 then if it continues in this way then code the following message the message is good morning you have to code the message using numbers if a equals to 1 b equals to 2 c equals to 3 then using this numbers you have to code the message good morning okay next sum number 6 and the last sum is if y e s equals to z f t you will understand how it change y become z e become f s become t so if y e s equals to z f t then you have to code the message the message is i love my country you have to code this message using this rule okay at first you will understand the rule then you will code the message so you will pause the video here and you will take a screenshot of the questions so up to this 
from sum number 1 to 6 you will practice and try the sums at home without taking any help from your parents you will solve this sums and i hope this will be helpful for you okay thank you